Hi guys, this is Vietnamese spicy beef noodle soup. It's very delicious. Come to my kitchen, I'll show you how to do step by step. You'll need about 12 pounds of beef bones. In a large pot, you need to boil it for 10 minutes. Drain it and rinse it with cold water. Use a large pot, boil 6 liters of water, put the bones in, and chew onions. Slow cook on low heat for 4 hours. And sometimes skim off the foam to keep the broth clear. Pot number 2, boil beef shank and beef flank for 10 minutes. Remove them and wash with cold water. Using the same pot, put the pork feet in, boil for 10 minutes, then wash them with cold water. Boil a new pot of water and add all the beef in. Add a half of pineapple with three stalks of lemongrass. Flatten it before you put it in. This will help to release more aroma. Next, add one tablespoon of rock candy. Lastly, one tablespoon of salt. On a separate pot, you need to boil the pork feet for 30 minutes with 3 cloves of garlic, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of sugar. After one hour, you need to remove the beef shank and put in cold ice water for half an hour. After an hour and 45 minutes, remove the beef flank and put in cold ice water for half an hour. The cold water helps the meat to shrink and it's easy for you to thinly slice them. Boil one and a half liter of water. Use five tablespoons of fine trim paste. Stir well, shut off the heat, leave it on the side. Wait until the water clear out. To make the satay, use one head of chopped garlic Fry it until it's golden. Next, you fry one cup of chopped lemongrass along with the garlic until you smell the aroma. Use 1 tablespoon of paprika powder with 1 tablespoon of water. Mix it well, then fry with the garlic and the lemongrass. You do the same steps with the dry chili. Because I have small kids, my soup is not spicy by using this amount of hot pepper. If you want more spicy, you can always add more pepper. Now everything blend together, you can shut off the heat. 
You need bung bò huế noodle with the instructions before you boil it. Go back to the first part that we had the bone. We cook for 4 hours. It's time to remove the bones from the pot. This pot that we had the beef in earlier, the broth you need to pour it into the big pot. This is the shrimp paste that we cooked earlier. Use only the clear part on the top, pour it into the big pot. I already took 3 tablespoons of satay out for later use and the rest I'm using for this. Put 1 scoop of the broth in, mix well, use the strainer to strain out the juice. To create spicy beef noodle soup, put this juice in the broth. To increase the flavor, I'm using half a can of spicy beef flavor paste. Mix with one scoop of the broth. Mix it well and pour in the pot. Now you can add salt and sugar to your taste. This is optional. This is called raw pork binder link. Um, you don't have to use this. If you do, you need to put 1 tablespoon of ground pepper and mix it well and you need to um, use 2 spoons to shape it up before you put in the pot. After you're done, bring it to a boil and shut off the heat. For pork blood, you need to boil with ginger slices for 40 minutes. Then remove from the pot and cut into pieces like this. This is banana blossom. You need to cut, open up the petals and remove the stems from the inside. You keep doing this until you get all the way to the end. Put cold water in a bowl, squeeze one lime into the water, and thinly slice the blossom. The lime will keep the blossom from turning brown. This is the water spinach shredder tool. Remove all the leaves from the water spinach, only use the stems.
put the thread through the stem gently push it down to shred it Use one onion, thinly slice it, put in ice water to keep it crispy. Just before serving, put a small amount of meat into the pot. Put the broth into the pot and cook for 5 minutes. This will give the meat more flavor. Before you serve, make sure the noodle is nice and hot. Now you can put some of the meat on the top. You can garnish the onion, chopped cilantro, chopped scallion, chopped coriander before or after the broth. Finally, it's done. Look how yummy it is. This is the onion I took out from the ice water, banana blossom, bean sprout, lamb wedges, shredded water spinach, and mint. This is the beef shank and flank. Vietnamese ham, hot pepper, satay. In this bowl, I have chopped scallion, coriander, cilantro for garnish. Let's put everything together before we eat.
Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. It is so yummy. Sorry, it's time for me to serve. I want to thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy cooking with me. If you like the video, don't forget to thumb up. Bye bye.